Hello, welcome Hello. to Science Day. Hello. Hello, we have a visitor Hello. today. Freddie Junior. It is Joseph. So today on Science Day we're going to end with something a little bit strange. Shall I show you what we're going to end with? Yes. See this sloppy glue? I can't see. Yeah. Now, if you slap that, if I, if I punch that really hard, what would happen? It will splat everywhere. Put your faces around it, and if you come over here, if you believe in science, then when I slap it, you're going to keep still. But if you don't trust science and run away because you think it's going to splash, then we'll see. So who's going to film it? Here's the first. See, it's just a little, it's just a little wet stuff. Ready? One, two, three. It didn't splat as much as I think. It splashed on your face. What we're going to do today is learn about sound. Of course. Sound. So what I want you to write down is all you know about sound. Where does it come from? How does it work? How do you make it? Scott, what have you done? Um, you can't see it. You can't see sound. Interesting question. We shall test that idea. Very good question. Um, you can hear it. Excellent. But when you like smash things together, you can make noise. Sounds. Ah, smashing together noises. Mm, you can use your tongue to make sounds. It can also be used for locating dead, things. Dead, it's and it's called echolocation. You have wow. That's cool. I want each of you to go through the house and find one thing that makes sound. Sound waves. And what are sound waves? When you clap, it kind of records and you send sound waves. Yeah. Like when you touch some water, it sounds really... Yeah. Excellent. When I'm speaking and moving the air, so let's test that by making the sound go through a different type of gas. All right, so this is a big tank of helium. It's used to make those balloons at parties, and it's a different type of gas. And if you talk through this gas, because it's got a different density to oxygen, your voice will change. Joseph, speak. So in all these things, what you need to sound is three things. Most things that make sound are three things. There's something that makes something vibrate, like a smash or a hit, or a bong. There's something that amplifies the sound, and in the uh, and there's something that the sound travels through. So in here, as Cal has drawn, what's making the vibration? Well, it, well, kind of is. Your voice is making the vibration. Well, your voice is making the vibration. Where does the sound travel? It travels doing work. That's right. So if you look at my trumpet here, it's got the same three things. There's something that makes the sound. But listen what happens when I go down here. Yeah, it is because it amplifies it down a tube boy. Exactly. It amplifies it. It goes all the way down these pipes and amplifies and amplifies it. Who knows what this is? It's a uh, waste. Um, is it a sound amplifier? So this is a speaker. And anything that's electronic that makes sound has got something a bit like this. And this is a bit weird because it's got this weird mushroom shape. But all speakers have one of these inside. This one's just got it on the outside. And what we're going to do since this is Science Day is take this expensive bit of electronic equipment. Smash it up. And break it and look inside it. Now, what do you what? think all these different bits do? Well, oh, they like, this is probably the sound. That's the main motor. Yeah, yeah it's that's the main motor. motor. And this is all the programming that actually helps it. It looks like, it looks like the end of your trumpet. Okay, that's it. Hello, good point. Oh, yeah. like the end of In fact, that's the, that looks like the start of the trumpet. And this does the same job as the end of my trumpet. So I've plugged in this speaker to my iPad. And it's going to play a song. We're going to see if we can watch the bits working. So if we turn that... That's more bass, more of the low sound. And I can turn that off. And this is the high pitch sound, which comes from the smaller speakers, because they're making smaller vibrations. And the smaller vibrations are the high pitch sound. But it's not very loud right now, is it? Well, that's because we've taken off the um, this pub. Look, hold that. Watch what happens when I put this guy back. So this is 
just like the bell at the front of my trumpet. So all this is, is a little motor that vibrates this thing. And that just pushes the air and vibrates it. Look, put your fingers very gently on it, very gently. All right, now what we're going to do now is test one thing that Kala said. Kala said you can't see sound, which is very true. It looks like a big a lump of solid yeah. stuff. I think well, watch. it's solid with watch. liquid inside. Watch, Kala, are you ready? Mm -hmm. It just bubbles Ew, away. It's so disgusting. Oh, then would when you hit it. It's solid. Chop. This is a non newtonian fluid because I didn't even think the step was impossible. Is This stuff is called Ooblack. 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 It's named after a Dr. Zeus story. And what we're going to do is make it dance. Let's dance! Because we said the sound was vibrations. Vibrations oh, of air. Do, but it can okay. also be vibrations of Ooblack. Oh, that's it! Yes. Look at that. Your finger hurts. Why is that?